besides absolutely coming to life when he plays, the, the man has the energy of a 20-year-old. I don't know how he does it. I mean, the man is recorded with such legendary artists, such as, of course, Tom Petty, but Eric Clapton, Duran Duran, Average White Band, Shaka Khan, you know, those are just a few of them. He's recorded with so many. I met Steve during a difficult time in my life. Um, connected on a lot of levels. Um, personality is infectious. Uh, the biggest heart I know. He's got a lot more wisdom under his belt and a lot of uh, ex life experiences. I think that he's kind of been around the block and he's shaken loose of everything negative and he always remains positive. I think that's why we've remained friends for so long because he's just a go-to guy besides being incredibly talented. We used to go dancing in, on Saturday mornings. It was like we were little kids. I was 12 years old and we used to go to this, it was a dance hall for, for, for little kids uh, and uh, in, in a ballroom in, in, and um, and we used to go there and we used to dance with the girls. One weekend, we get up there and this band, Manfred Mann's Earth Band, they were gonna play that night in the, uh, in the, in the, in the ballroom. And, uh, and they did a sound check and they played for us little kids, right? And every girl in the place just went completely nuts over these guys in the band. And I said to my friends, we need to start a band. Played at this this club. It was in the aquarium in Brighton. It used to be a little club called Ch Uncle Bonnie's Chinese Jazz Club, and a lot of bands used to come through there. And uh, one of them was the Who. And my band used to open for the Who, the Searchers, Jerry and the Pacemakers. They used to go all these all these different bands that from Liverpool and from London. I was back home just making records and I got a phone call from a, a, a girl out here that books uh, uh, sessions, uh, book, book, book people for, to come out and do some sessions. And she said, Steve, are you available to come out to Los Angeles next week? And I said, sure, who for? And she said, I can't tell you, it's top secret. I said, oh, okay. So, I, <laughs> so they, they booked my flight and, uh, and I thought, oh, what, what that's all about? And I came out, got picked up and they took me out to, uh, Studio City Studios out here. Uh, uh, so I, I walked in and um, and um, and there was uh, Tommy and Mike Campbell. And I knew Mike Campbell because I played with him with uh, uh, with George Harrison, and uh, and uh, and uh, that was it. I sat down and we played. You don't know how it feels. was sitting on this side of the studio listening to what we just recorded and uh, and and Tom Tom looked at Mike and he said well what a difference the drummer makes and I'm thinking oh, what does that mean you know it's like that could mean that like, this guy's awful the other guy was better I don't, I don't know what it what it actually meant but he, he, looked, he looked at me and he said oh don't worry you won <laughs> And that was it. That was the start of 25 years of uh, musical bliss. You know, I, you know, I, I mean, uh, I'm just doing really, basically, the only thing that's different is that I don't have a Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers tour to look forward to. That's the only thing that's different in my life. people would probably be concerned and wonder where their future is going if their main source of income is no longer there. However, I, I never even think that with Steve because this man has so many other options available. He performs with so many people and he's so easy to work with that he's constantly hired. He wants to use Tommy's death as, um, as more of an um, uplifting time to um, continue on. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers with the Smithereens from 2013, and they they sent that to us. What is that? Oh, Grammy nominations here. This is a uh, Grammy nominations from uh, from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, uh, and my Grammy for the Running Down the Drink. So there's three three different drums that are the same the same make but they all have different different characters to them. 
Um, is it a Gretsch from a, from a Tom Petty a Tom Petty model that a, a, a drum kit that I had made? Um, these are uh, Ludwig Black Beauties. This is a, a Pearl signature snare drum that I have made well, with my my name on it, and and I think this is the uh, is that a Pearl? I think that's a, yeah, that's a Pearl too. I love this drum kit. This drum kit is a 1950 Gretsch Broadcaster. It's the same age as I am. So it's in pretty good condition. Bit, bit better condition than I am, but it's in. <laughs> I work and I work and I don't work and I hang out with my grandchildren and uh, um, you know it's uh, I, I just got a great life.